Ipinge says the region's five municipalities are owed a combined amount of over $373 million. Okahanja ranks the highest with $136 million owed by its residents, followed by Hrutfontein at $90 million, then Ochiwarongo at $47 million. Otavi ranks fourth at $28 million owed to it, followed by Okakarara where residents are $23 million in debt to their municipality. I urge all local authorities to speed up the process of recovering these funds. In the same vein, I'm calling upon the residents, the business community, and all ministry to commit and pay up their debts. Public-private partnerships entered into by municipalities resulted in 2,500 urban services across the region. The Township Board also approved a proclamation of 13 townships at Okahanja, Otavi and Okakarara. It gives me assurance that with unity of purpose and stable socio-economic condition, our region will continue to attract the necessary investment that will create employment and empowerment opportunities for all in our region. Ipinge also applauded the regional council's effort in ensuring the eradication of the bucket toilet system under its rural sanitation program. In 2017, a total of 233 flush toilets were put up at a cost of $3 million at Tumque, Hrutfontein, Otavi, Okahanja, Okakarara, and Omatako constituencies. We have implemented the sanitation program as per the Harambe Prosperity Plan. Ipinge describes the year 2018 as a time for action, creating more jobs, developing more skills and education for all residents. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Ochuarongo.